Uh, it seems like, for the moment, Rev's been able to handle a pretty decent time uh, of staying away from the Faceless Void, just dealing a little bit of chip damage. Yep. Yeah. I was thinking about other offlaners that have that are ranged, and it's really only not been dead. Been to come down into the, in, into the river, which is just never really where you want to be. More damage going in. Lil is chasing Mason down. Four stacks on top of him in DC. Going to lose their carry. It looks like Pasha will die, so that's a plus two for Dubu. Not only sitting with Stickly Tower Taker. Does he have to be DPS? Cool. Wind Ranger with Drower is always DPS. And I mean, he does have that long duration stun, so they don't actually have that much lockdown on their team, so he can uh, have those long duration stuns that you need. Oh, the sun He's silence. Okay. Oh, yeah, he'll make that escape. Good decision there. He'll power shot solo as well on his way out. That does it. Nine stick charges as well. Right now, I think the Wind Ranger's main job is just yeah, to be void. Like, void can't really go anywhere. Anytime you go up to him, you just start Wind, Rain, wind Run. And even if you want to Chronosphere him, you have to worry about the instant cast Wind Run coming out before. So, like, but you need to disable it at some point, or else he's going to land a shaft when you're going to die. So not easy for him. And the top that Rain has to deal with two other forms of silence. Oh, nicely done there. Can he get out? They're trying to chase in for this one. He will not have time off for another seven seconds, but Lil is there keep his carry alive and see if they can power shot quite on the mark. That means that Ramses will escape. Um, oh, BP. <laughs> That's the funniest thing when you're like playing with someone newer and you're like, okay, we need we need vision on top rune and then they just place a ward on top of the rune. Yeah. So I you know. And it's, well, you can see up top here too. It's going to be a quick kill. Wind run got off, but any four heroes like that is going to happen. I think I placed... There's one time where I actually placed two sentries, but it actually turned out they were two observer wards. Uh oh, Boba. He's in trouble too. Uh, so no point up and no very hard to deal with bottom lane. Oh, it's going to be something to happen. And Pop has shown up to help out the Earth Spirit. Is he going to end up dying for that? Mark it doesn't look like he's going down to Dubu, but Ace of Two might be the one that ends up going for him. Trying to find something in return. He will have another power shot in three seconds. Actually managed to find Pasha. He's gonna shoot one off, and instead they'll chase after Solo. So they do get out on the Bat Rider, and they only end up losing the two supports. Are they gonna be able to force a fight here? They got a lot of heroes in the area. Oh, that was a nice play. Ends up breaking the Blink Dagger. He will have it back up again in a second, but the Shackle onto two as well. Might be able to find one kill here and just get out. We'll see if it's an even to be the case or not, Bulba. Instead, it's just gonna have to be the one that ends up falling. Ramsey's gonna be able to run him down, but. Yeah, you take that gank. Get the rest of the team out of there. They did pull Gobo for that, though. And Wood Ranger was able, unable to connect on that last power shot. Going for the super, super risky build on the Overkid Fish. This is a Mason special himself. Tide is money. I think so, he likes it. Might have influenced Forev a bit. What's the What's the thought behind this build here? What's the big play? Probably deal with the Void, I would say. But they already have multiple silences, so it's overlapping. Secondly, you can no defensive yeah. well, Top lane also, they found Abed and is going to get Chrono to the animation. Ends up dropping. So last one Chrono used, but it's big for another hefty blow to the Shadow Queen. He's still far behind, but you do see that there's like bottom lane. It's not incredible. All right, nice off there. Fred's going to end up going down. Bulba trying to see if he can kill off no one. He's almost dead as well. He is going to end up. Still might have been tough since he was under tier one tower. Masha, he's gonna pull back in. The Wind Ranger, Global Silence is there, so they won't be able to chrono afterwards. And, well, never mind. They chrono him immediately after the Global Silence wears up, and now. Too. He can just sit down here in the lane and there's nothing that they can do to really touch him. The, the nice part about Wind Ranger here is, you know, the low cooldown, the four mana regen. It, you should be able to keep the lanes pushed out with Pasha now with the four staff used. Caught back up again with the Blink Dagger. The roll in from Lil, the stun, the kick, the kill. No one on a killing spree. I mean, you sort of take those decks though, right? Like, I don't Dyer's know. It feels like there's just no other attack. way to do it. You have to keep the lane pushed. Ideally, I'd say there are better ways, like power shot it from the fog, uh, arcane curse from the fog using yeah. Drow Aura. There are a lot of ways I think they can do it without feeding away deaths. I think if it's a support, it's okay, but Wind Ranger, you need items on her. Well, maybe not, not Orca, but other items. <laughs> The, the thing about Orchid is like you had to it has to be like the perfect setup too. Like potentially you could you could Orchid a Batrider before he lasts on top of you. Potentially. But 
that's that's really high risk, as opposed to things like Maelstrom, Blink, which is a pretty safe build. Weakens, I think, that is some value in this game too, so you don't get lassoed. Like these are pretty good items that are generally just very safe. Like you're not gonna get you're you're gonna get value out of the item even if you die. Or like Orgy, you're not gonna get value out of it if you die. And it's uh, I think. Uh, I kind of foresee his game being shut down too. I, I honestly don't don't see where it's gonna go now that Ramblin already has his Mantis out. And even if he's super afraid of the silence, he can still go for the game. And I don't think he really needs to. But if he just wants Pasha or sorry, no one to do all the damage, why not? Dyer's totally. middle tower is under attack. Well, um, certainly it's a tough situation to be in right now for DC. VP for them, it's going to be two, two towers across the map that want to take it next. You still have the Aegis for another Dyer's two hits. Um, do you think that they are in any rush at all to try and like go for a quick tier 3 Dyer's tower, or do you just go around and finish off all the tiers? Well, you know Wind Ranger is going to be useless. Uh, you know SF had a really, really, really tough game. And you still have very good anti-BKB but uh, they're far enough ahead that they can at least knock on it. They still have the Aegis for quite some time. By Persini at 2,400 HP with Stranger. And he also went for the Agi one too, so it's not Spotting like he's lacking a ton of damage. The Sanj is there, the Hurricane Tyrant. He has plus 50 agility. Yeah. Look, at his, look at his stats right now, it's incredible. Dyer's and he attack. also is going to have Bloodless there, Radiant's maxed out by Solo. Is this is just, it, it's so hard Radiant's to deal with. They're actually salving him while he's taking the tower damage to try and make sure that he doesn't drop too low. Tower Dyer's gone, and DC fallen. they smoke. What, what are you going to do at this point? There's nothing left! Has the Heaven's Help done now? They want to try and kill him off. Still another minute before Roche ends up going down. They are going to be able to get off the Orphan in the Global Silence, actually, keeping him back for the moment. Jump forward. Chronosphere is dead on to two. Can they kill him all off? There's the Magnetize. It spreads around a little fist ball to stun the silence. It's all gone wrong for DC in this one. Reckling of Souls comes out. No one is low. He wants to die here, actually. And the raise is going to help it happen. As the Aegis is going to be taken back. The first lane of Barracks down at 22 minutes. GG, they don't want any more. DC have been crushed in that Wow, oh, SF just didn't seem like he had a place in the game. I thought he was actually going to do decently well versus the Viper, especially given the start, but yeah, that was a 